I am so excited to introduce this next speaker, Darnell Oaks. Um, we'll put his picture up. He'll have a PowerPoint. And I just don't let anyone speak on this platform. I try to be very mindful. But what I love about Darnell is his consistency and his story. Because, and he will share more with you, but he was a single father. We often hear about the single mothers, but we don't hear the stories and the adversity of the fathers who are having to raise their child on their own. So Darnell is a Washington DC native and a 2001 graduate of High Point Senior High School, um, attended Strayer to study business management and psychology. He is just has an amazing personality. His, um, he has a mem my mentor, wait a minute. You know what Darnell, I'm gonna save this bio. I'm just gonna introduce you to the stage because I know you're gonna tell us about yourself but it's all about single parents win. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Darnell Look y'all, I, I love rhythm. I'm a music guy. So, if we can get this thing started, y'all can hear me clearly? Yes. yes. All right. So I wanna see where the livest table is. And we're gonna do it like this. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. I'm looking for the live table. Unstoppable. 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 We sleep in the back. We sleep in the back. I love it. I love it. I love it. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Awesome. My name, this is amazing. Thanks, Jen. Look, 10 years. 10 years, right, Jen? Where's Jen? Yes. 10 yes. years. Yes, 10 years. This is, this is amazing. Uh, clap it up for yourselves just for being here. It's amazing. My name is Darnell Oaks. Y'all can call me D. Oaks. Um, I want to speak about the importance of single parents winning. All right? If we can get to this first slide. But before I go into single parents winning, you know us, we like to jump right into the victory. You know, like somebody, they want to teach you about money, for an example. You show me the steps. How could I get to the money real fast? Just I just want to know. Let's slow down. We got to know the history of single parents in, in America to know where we're going. That's good? Yeah. That's good. Let's go back a little bit. Um, since the 1960s, there has been an increase in numbers of single parents. The day of March 21st coincides with the inception of Parents Without Partners. It's what it was called, actually, at that time, though. Um, which began on March 21st, 1957. Proclamation 5166 was presented to and signed by President Ronald Reagan. March 21st, 1984, as National Single Parents Day. So let's, let's mark that on the calendar moving forward. March 21st, National Single Parent Day. Um, in 2000, 11% of children were living with single parents who had never been married. Let's think about that. The growth of 1960s, about 2000. Where we are here? Here we go. 15.6% um, divorced parents, 1.2% widow. So, as we can see, widow is a rare thing, and I'm learning this through my single parent coaching process. It's very rare that I find that there's a single parent because they've been widowed. In, 20, in 2006, 12.9% families in the U.S. were hitting 
by single parents, which 80% were females. In 2010, 40.7% of births in the U.S. was to unmarried women. December 2011 shows approximately 13.7, this number is almost unbelievable, 13.7 million single parents in America. Today, 10.89 million single parent families. 79.5% are single mothers. 24.3% are food insecure. 9.2% no health insurance. 31.3% are living in poverty. 45.4% rely on food stamps. 20.8% unemployed and 11.2% high school dropouts. I think we starting to see why this is so important. Um, let's move to the next slide, please. As uh, Jen touched on, this is why it's important to me. Because I think initially, like I do a lot of videos, I got a um, Sunday night live show called 30 Minutes with the Oaks. It teaches single parent empowerment, right? <clears throat> and I know initially when people see it, they're like, well, how does this dude even care about single parents and so much? Here's why. At age 19, I became a teenage parent. By 21, I was a single parent. And every single, do we have any single parents in here, by the way? My people, I'm, I'm here for y'all. I'm here for y'all. So for those nine long years, nine long years of single parenting, and you really got to experience that to know what that's like. I'm talking no help. Because there's a lot of confusion today of someone gets a divorce, but both parents are actually parenting. They're both involved, but people are running around with the narrative that they're single parents because they're not married. But if, if you're getting the 50-50 um, support, you really don't understand what single parenting is. But um, during this journey, you know, I thought about and felt every emotion that any single parent is feeling today. Um, that's why I threw, I want to be a mentor and resource to single parents um, through my consultant, through speaking, through the books, um, which I have several of. And uh, through coaching, um, I want single parents to know this right here. You don't have to figure out this journey alone as I did. I'm one, and I'm sure there's many, because I've been speaking with them all over the country um, and outside the country, that you can actually use as a navigation. We can move on to the slide. For the single parents that are here, the few that are here, these are the challenges. And you can make some noise if you hear a challenge that you're familiar with. Financial strain. Amen. Limited time for personal growth. Amen. Lord knows how important that is. Parenting alone. Just, just the idea of it, right? You didn't make the kid alone, right? Emotional stress, self-care, you know, some, and even two-parent homes. Now, I've been married over a decade now. Even two-parent homes, you can get caught up to where self-care, you mess around and don't clean yourself because you're so focused on your child, right? I know, I know y'all, some of y'all can relate to that, right? Education. Education, this is one of my, sport. this is my favorite sport now, education. Sometimes it's tough, if you're a single parent, how much time do you really have to educate yourself? That's a, that's a battle every day. 
uh, guilt. Sometimes you feel guilty as a single parent that you have your child in this situation and sometimes what you may tell yourself. And just free time in general. Um, a few years ago, there was a single mother who, um, who committed suicide and one of the, one of the last, um, one of the last posts she did on Facebook, she said, I don't even have time. I can't even go to the restroom alone. Just, it sounds small, but when you're in that situation, just the mental break, just free time could be very, very challenging. Let's move forward. For my single parents that's here, and for every, everyone else that's ready to be unstoppable, I got a question for you. Because even you got to be victorious because I'm no longer a single parent, but now it's my responsibility to help single parents, and it's yours as well. So who's ready to be victorious and help single parents win? So, so here's the sauce. Here's the sauce to win, y'all. So write her down. Here we go. The first thing we're going to need to win is wisdom. What is wisdom? The ability or result of an ability to think and act, utilizing knowledge, experience, understanding, common sense, and insight. Ecclesiastes 19, 15, 16 says, Now there live in that city a man poor but wise. And he saved the city by his wisdom. It's amazing what wisdom do. Wisdom, wisdom does things that money can't do. Proverbs 4, 7 says, the beginning of wisdom is this. This is my favorite one. Get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. It didn't say it may cause half of what you have, some of what you have. It's going to cause everything. So if you're lacking in wisdom, you're not giving up the whole thing. You got to give yourself. Proverbs 19.8 says, the one who gets wisdom actually loves life. So I got this thing where I hear people say, you know, we, we've all heard it. Life is short. Life is short. No, it's not. Life is beyond our physical experience. But when you're lacking wisdom, you can't get past that. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. Proverbs 1 7 says, The fear of the Lord is beginning, is the beginning of knowledge. But only fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let's move forward. Don't be foolish, by the way. Please don't be foolish. This, this one right here is where we really get the intention. What is intention? It is the goal. It's your goal. It's your purpose. It's your aim. It's hard to get active if you don't understand what, you don't even know what your purpose is. You don't know what your aim is. You don't know what the goal is. This one right here is very, very important. And please write this down. Where attention goes, intention follows. So let's start thinking about What's grabbing our attention? How much time are we spending on the things we're spending on? And how the dividends look? 
You will not be victorious by accident. No miracle is going to happen. I think the sister kind of touched on that right before me. Nobody's coming out the sky to fix this. You must be intentional about this journey. Let's move on. Last but not least, your network. This the cherry on top, yo. It's your network. What is a network? A group or system of interconnected people. In other words, this is your circle. You are your network, and your network is you. So if you are where you need to be in your life, it's time to start doing inventory. This is why I need some activity. Beginning, beginning with this right here. This thing right here. Can, can we all hold this up right here? Can, can we hold this up? Can we hold the phone up? This right here is our network. We know every day. If, if you drop this phone, if you think you drop the phone, you're going crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm one of them. I want to, if I think, it's amazing. It's amazing the power in that phone. Listen, you will know when you're a part of the victorious circle. You won't be confused at all. It may be unfamiliar territory, but you won't be confused. You're going to know. Because the daily objective with this circle is going to be to win. Every day is going to be an assignment. You know, I noticed some of, some of the people that was in my circle, they got away from me because every time we speak, I'm giving them an assignment. It's something they need to do. It's something, did you, did you read what I gave you? To, they don't want to hear that. It's too much thinking. It's too much work. Some people may say, to win at what? Every aspect of life. What we here to do? Lose? The thing about an assignment, it's always met with an obstacle. Anything good, just think about it. Anything good you ever want to do, as soon as you get excited about it, you get in motion, here's the block. It's, it's going to follow every single time. But here's the benefit of having the right network. They will provide the solutions to win. Before I get out of here, I got, I, got this, I got this slogan I love to say because it's a fact. And I know majority is not single parents or haven't been single parents. But I need you to understand when single parents win, we all going to win. Right. I promise you. Yes. That's my time. Thanks, Jen. Hello, my name is Jennifer Foxworthy, and I am the founder and CEO of Unstoppable You Ministries. Thank you for stopping by our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the presentation that you just watched. Unstoppable You Ministries, we are in the trenches providing services dealing with domestic violence, human trafficking, and homelessness. So join us in the trenches by smashing that subscribe button, clicking like, and sharing to all your connections. We can't do this without you. We are on a journey of changing lives through our conferences, our workshops, and these episodes of Living Unshackled on Purpose. So you're here. Get the most out of it. Check out another video. See you soon.